It's your favourite part of the show, cos it's Barrage the Farage, where you send in your questions, which I do not get previous sight of. So here goes. Matt asks me, is it the case that the EU has run the country for so long that the government now doesn't know how to handle the crisis? It's actually a very good question. It's very interesting. I remember one of the arguments that was put against Brexit uh, when we were arguing on our side that, well, we could do our own trade deals and choose our own friends around the world. Oh, we've got no expertise. There's nobody in the country capable of negotiating trade deals because, of course, it had been done on our behalf for the best part of 50 years. So, yes, many of the essential functions of government uh, we've got very, very little experience in. But, no, I think in the case of this, this is a lack of foresight and courage by government and quite why a Conservative government doesn't want to take on the DVLA when they, frankly, they, above all, are holding the country as hostages, I just don't know. They're career politicians, they're not people of real principle. I'm afraid I think that really is the problem. Philippa asks me, who would you see as the next Mayor of London? Not Sadiq Khan, is all I can say. I have to tell you, uh, Sean Bailey, who sat in that seat a few weeks ago, I thought he was really impressive. He wasn't given a chance by the media. He wasn't even given a chance by the Conservative Party. Everyone wrote him off completely. He's still got 45% of the vote. But whether a mayor needs to have the endorsement of a Conservative or Labour Party, I'd much rather see individuals running who could actually act as salesmen for London all around the world and perhaps have an ear for business. And that, I think, is what we need from a Mayor of London. Anthony asks me, do you think the result of a German election will weaken or strengthen the European Union? It will neither weaken nor strengthen the European Union. It will neither weaken nor strengthen the European Union. It is a pretty neutral result. Can Sir Keir Starmer, Mary asks, win over the country tomorrow? Well, I tell you what, in some ways I hope he does, because a good democracy has somebody leading the opposition, challenging the government. And through all of this charade of the last week with the fuel crisis, Keir Starmer's not laid a finger on Boris Johnson's government, and that really is very, very disappointing. I wish him well tomorrow. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.